Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. This is the part two of my math rigging tutorial where I will show you how to make today a tongue that can come out, is working with all of your mouth forms and is also working with your hand rotation. I will be honest with you, this is not really a beginner friendly topic, but I tried my best to uh, work it down to the least amount of parameters and deformers possible. That if you are a beginner or even if you are more advanced, it's always a good idea as usual remember that if you want you can come on my twitch channel i stream literally every day at 3 p.m central europe time if you want to come have fun with us see me uh, while i rig my vtuber models ask me questions and have fun with us and also this tutorial is part of my how to live to the playlist where i show you as beginner friendly as possible to rig your model you you have eyes tutorial eyebrows tutorial head x y boing boing physics anything possibly that you could think of so please check it out and maybe follow if you want to thank you so much for watching my video as you can see right here i already rigged the mouth and the tongue but i am gonna create a copy of this file to show you precisely how i did it and how you can do it as well I am assuming that you already watched the part one of uh, this tutorial uh, of mouth rigging because you will need it. If you have not watched it, go watch it right now, please, and then come back here because otherwise this method is not gonna work. So you will have something like this. Uh, as I showed you in the mouth rigging tutorial, we have this low TV mouth that contains tongue, low TV, and back TV. And those are all in this deformer that makes them move up and down accordingly to our lower jaw. Now, first thing uh, that you should and must do is to arrange the layer order of your, um, of your elements. Don't worry if you have already rigged your model and you are just adding now your mouth, uh, your tongue out is not a problem. You can do it now, but what I advise you is that before any other special expression, you already rig your tongue out. Otherwise, it's going to clash with your other uh, special expressions. So how can we do that? By default, you will have your whole model, all of the layers in the draw order of 500 we need it we need to increase it so how you can do it i want you to select everything from your low lip to all the layers that are on top everything select everything how you can do that you either hold the control and click or shift you go ahead and select everything. Everything, 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 everything. I'm not gonna do it now because I already have it. I'm just, uh, I'm just showing you maybe a couple of things. And don't change your draw order here because the draw order is keyed, which means that if I change my draw order in this key, it doesn't affect all of them. I would have to change it here, 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 here. To avoid having to do that, we go here, multiple keys editing, draw order over write, and write 700. And then hit OK. So what you are doing is you are selecting all of the elements, starting from lower lip to everything up, Go here, multiple keys editing, changes to 700, over write, and hit OK. You will have something like this, and now you also need to change these guys as well. Same process. Now you select your TIFIs, top TIFIs and low TIFIs, multiple keys editing, over write, and put 670. Same, 670. Hit OK. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Back TV and in mount, same thing, but 750. 
And that's it. We are done with fixing the uh, draw order for now. Now, first step to create your tongue art parameters. Right now, your tongue parameter doesn't have anything in it. What I want you to do is create a new deformer, call it tongue out. What we need to do now is when our tongue out is on zero, our tongue is not long and coming out. Our tongue is back in the mouth. So you make this active in here. And I just want you to, if you want, you can toggle away in one second your low lip and maybe also reduce the tongue opacity a little bit so you can see the teeth is behind it. And I want you to drag your, your tongue up, just like this, so it looks like it's sitting in the mouth and it's not coming out. Whoops, I, I rig it the wrong way. What happens when you, when you want this keyform to actually be on the right and this keyform to be on the left? Just click here, reflect. Okay, now that we have this, we also need to find a way to get our tongue to go inside of the mouth because right now it still stays on top of this lip. So how do we do that? Click on your tongue, click on tongue out, put these two dots here and also go here and put another dot maybe at uh, 115. Now, Remember what I told you, your draw order is keyed. So you can click on the first dot and change it. Put this to 660. Because it has to go under the tiffies. And you already have your tongue coming out right now. Even if we are gonna have some problems. As you can see here, the tongue is technically following our mouth movement because uh, thanks to this deformer here. But as soon as our tongue starts to go inside of the mouth, you will find some keyforms that are not very nice. For example, this one. But it doesn't make sense that the tongue is so wide. Or here it should be more higher. So now we need to take the tongue out deformer and connect it also to the mouth form and mouth open. And you should go ahead and fix these parts. Check how the tongue is looking, if it's too high, if it's too low, move it up, move it down accordingly. The concept of this is that to make this work better and more efficiently, we are working from the deformer that has the least deformation to the one that has the most. As you can see, as you could see, I'm starting by this deformer because the deformation is very minimal. I just have to move it up and down and maybe shrink it a little bit here. Instead, the, the deformer that I will use for the tongue uh, to go with your angle X and Y, is going to be uh, so much more deformed. I, I, we are going to create a curve and stuff, so that's more complex. If you move this way, you will be able to work with your deformers being nice and clean. Otherwise, you will find yourself working with deformers that look like super crazy, and uh, that's very hard to do. So if you find yourself this problem here, you can also make your deformer active also in this dot here. And let's also work 
the deformer for every shape. After you do a fast check and you realize that your tongue is looking good, we can go to the next step. Our next step is to um, make your tongue uh, work also when your head rotates to the side. Right now, what you will have... Let me take it out for you to see. Is that your tongue goes diagonally like this. You want your tongue to go diagonally like this because it's supposed to look three-dimensional, right? Let me show you the difference with my already rigged model. When my tongue comes out, mouth open, and my head rotates to the side, you see the difference? Our tongue is going to this vertical here. So, what we are going to do now is reset to default values. Take out your tongue, open the mouth, and make a deformer, as you can see here, that is children of our low teethy mouth. So how do you do that? Select all of the direct children of your low teethy mouth. Make sure that you don't do this, because I said direct children. Tongue is not a direct children of low teethy, because tongue is a direct children of tongue out. If you want to know more about this, please check out my The Former Hierarchy tutorial where I explain you how to not have any more any problem about The Former Hierarchy. Now, select your direct children low, low, low tiffy map, create a new deformer, and maybe call it low tiffy head anchors, for example. And of course, we are gonna connect this to our angle X. Now you take your head to the left or right, remove this, and you're gonna basically just bring it, instead of diagonally like this, diagonally like this. So even if your tongue maybe stops here. I want you to create this nice complete curve. You can also put smooth too, maybe, to make it smoother. Because like that, wherever your tongue is in its coming out motion, it always has a nice curve. We, we, can, first, uh, we can first reflect the motion. Now, last little step is doing that adjustment for when our tongue is out, is rotated, and when it moves. Sometimes you will have a little problem like here, it looks a bit funny. So I need you to sell, to make this deformer, low TV head angles, also active in mouth form and mouth open. Find the places where it looks weird and just adjust it. Don't deform here. I don't want you to deform here. Only move. Okay, last little step that you might want to do is to adjust the tongue when your mouth is in X position, as you can see right here, for example. So let's do that. Create a new deformer outside of, uh, outside of tongue out. And call it tongue mouth X adjustment. Connect it also to mouth form and mouth open.
try to do the least amount of deformation possible here because the more you deform, the more chances there are that this is not going to look good when in the other positions. Well, let me congratulate with you because you have just rigged your amazing trackable tongue. I hope this tutorial was helpful and good for you. If it was, please leave a comment, a like, and maybe subscribe. And if you want, you can come watch my streams. I stream every day on my Twitch channel at 3 p.m. GMT plus 2. Feel free to come and have fun with me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.